want a quick yet extremely delicious meal? This carbonara recipe is ready before you know it and will surely impress your loved ones. A classic Italian recipe that everyone knows and loves. This pasta recipe has everything you need. Crispy delicious bacon, a garlic infused sauce and lots of parmesan. So why not try making it at home instead of ordering in? In a bowl, add in two whole eggs plus one egg yolk. This will make your sauce extra creamy and give it a nice color. Add in a pinch of white pepper and start beating with a whisk. Now we're gonna tackle the cheese part. Traditionally Parmigiano Reggiano or Pecorino cheese. But you can also use Grana Padano, which is cheaper. Add in your grated Parmesan or Grana Padano and mix until everything is well combined. I wouldn't recommend adding any salt here as this will be salty enough from the parmesan in the bacon. Place a large pan on medium heat and add in some olive oil. Then add in your diced garlic and stir. This will only take about a minute or so. So be careful not to burn the garlic as they will get very bitter quickly. Add in your cubed bacon and turn up the heat. This will start smelling super good almost instantly. While it cooks, you may notice some juices getting released from your bacon. This depends on the type of bacon you use and how hot your pan is. But don't worry, just be patient and cook it until all the water evaporates and the bacon gets nice and crispy. The original recipe asks for pancetta or guanciale, but if you cannot find it, bacon is your best option. And since I promised the easiest and quickest recipe, you can use already cut up bacon cubes. But of course you can choose any type of bacon and just cut it into small bits. While your bacon is frying, you can start preparing your pasta. Place a saucepan with water on the stove and bring it to a boil. Then add in your pasta of choice. Today I'm using tagliatelle, but of course you can use any pasta you desire. Spaghetti is the most popular one. Boil it according to the instructions on the packet. If you use fresh pasta, this will only take about a minute or two. Once your pasta is ready, strain it and add it to your bacon and garlic pan, but only after you've taken it off the heat. Mix it well so the pasta gets infused with the garlic and bacon fat. Now add in your parmesan and egg mixture and start mixing and tossing constantly. The pasta has reduced down the temperature enough so that you don't end up with scrambled eggs. Instead, this will emulsify. Optionally, add in a few spoonfuls of pasta water. This together with the eggs and parmesan will emulsify and give you the most incredible creamy and rich carbonara sauce. To finish it off, we're gonna top this with some freshly ground black pepper and of course some extra parmesan. Next time you want to impress one of your loved ones, just prepare them this carbonara recipe. Who said you need great culinary skills to make a great pasta? Just get the right ingredients and follow these easy steps. You will be taken aback with the results. Follow us along in this kitchen affair by subscribing to our channel. We post a new video every week.